Hello, and welcome to Charwell, the Farming Agency Edition. So this is going to be my new Let's Play that's replacing the Sandy Bay Let's Play that I was doing. I've set the map up, I've put all the equipment in place that I want. Um, it's going to be an established farm, so it's going to have a lot of equipment already in place. It's not going to be like a farm where I start off with hardly any money and build up to something. This is an established farm that's obviously got a lot of equipment already, so we can really dive straight into all the farm work. Um, yeah, and, and pretty much see the map for what it is and all the new features. So in the first episode, I'm going to just be giving you a tour around, really, the three farms that I've got, um, the equipment that I've picked, and also what the plans are, the fields that I've got, and all that kind of stuff. So the first thing I'll just point out, really, is the house. Obviously, this is where your sleep trigger is. Um, I've got three farms, but this is the house that I'll come to when I want to sleep, and it's across the road from the sheep farm, and just to the side of where your horse paddock is. It is just over there, so it's kind of nicely centraled. I've also gone with a Ford truck, so this is going to be my vehicle that I use to get around. It's quite American style. It probably doesn't fit this map really well, but I just like the truck so much that I thought, Do you know what, I'm going to go with this one. It's just the Ford Super Duty. Looks really good inside as well, um, but I'll be using that in a second. So, first thing I'll do is I'll show you what I own. So I've, I own the sheep farm, obviously the horse paddock and all the fields that you start off with. Um, I also own the cow farm and I also own this little farm here which I'm going to use for equipment for when I'm field work. So it's got a lot of the tractors in and all the field work equipment. So I've kind of got like three different areas, one for the sheep and the, and the horses and then obviously this one for field work. And then we've got this top one for the cows. And we've got quite a lot of fields. So in the fields right now, I've kind of set them. You start off with some fields that are pretty much got a crop in that's either harvested or some that are growing. So I've kept the field types that were growing. Uh, they're actually useful fields. So I've got horse grass, I've got clover, and I've got alfalfa. So we'll definitely need them. And obviously we've got a grass field in 51. Um, so we just go to what's growing. So you can see that obviously these three are actual crops that are growing. The grass is obviously growing. And then we've got these six fields that we'll use for some kind of crop going forward. So I'm pretty much going to be growing some pasture grass on one of these to go with the grass field. Um, and then I'm going to obviously do some maize, some form of whole crop. So maybe we'll do wheat to start with, maybe a barley. Um, and then we'll do a crop where we can get some straw from and then we need a root root crop as well for feeding. We need definitely need carrots because a lot of the a lot of the animals do require carrots. So we'll be doing carrots at some point as well. So there's definitely a lot to do. Um, I've got quite a lot planned. So the most of the videos will have a lot of farming in anyway, to say the least. So across the road from the house is the sheep farm. So I've got some equipment. So I'll quickly just talk to you what I'm planned. I've kept only I think about two items of equipment that I started off with. So there was the manure spreader. I've got an auto load trailer for round bales. Um, I will be using auto load trailers, but obviously if I also want to manually load, I'll be doing that. It's not going to be no serious realism gameplay. It's just going to be an established farm where I have a bit of fun uh, and try and get quite a bit of farming done. So we've got a tally handler with a big bucket on. We'll be using probably for scooping up manure. I've also got a little trailer that will probably come in handy. Um, I've got a 390 Massey, the front loader. This will be just for this farm here. Pretty useful. I've got the equipment that you start off with for the root crops, so the potatoes and stuff like that, which is uh, going to be something that will definitely come in handy, so I've kept that. Um, I've got the front loader attachments in here. Probably going to put maybe some feed in here for the, for the sheep. I'm thinking of maybe putting the sheep feed in here, maybe some bales, same with this area. And then I'm thinking of maybe putting the horse silage, maybe some horse hay over here. We'll, we'll figure it out as we go. But we want to definitely keep at this farm the sheep feed and the horse feed so you know, we don't have to keep travelling around. And again, there's nothing in here, so that's more storage space. Right, so we've got a flock of sheep already. Um, there's 50 in here. I've given them a tiny bit of grass silage. Uh, that's the only bit of feed that I've got for them. I've just bought a bale for each set of animals that I've got. So I've got a bale of uh, grass silage in here and then 
as you'll see when I show you around the horses and the cows they've got the same so they're pretty much bare production rates not very good at the moment but I just thought I'd get it going and I can start with some animals so we've got 50 sheep in here and they're obviously got a nice open area I like it and the different um, type of grass in here I like that a lot so we're definitely doing a lot of work with the sheep I've gone for the breed that give wool so we're not going to be selling any lambs or anything like that we're going to be doing uh, we're going to try and get a lot of money from this from the wool that's my plan with the sheep this time so that's pretty much this area Again, these farms are quite connective, so there's not one big farm, there's kind of like small little farms going around the place. So you have to drive around, which I do like the idea of, it's something different than what I'm used to, so... It's going to be a different style of gameplay for me. So in here I've got eight horses, a different breed on each one, so I've gone for each type of breed. Uh, again, I've got some horse size that's been fed to him and a bit of water. I've gone with the pump system, so I'm not going to be using trailer or water in any of the... Animal pens, we've pretty much got pumps set up on all of them, which makes it a lot simpler. But we'll definitely need to do a lot of field work to keep these horses happy. So we'll need to do some oats at some point, so that's one of the fields pretty much bedded up already. We can get some uh, straw from that as well. Um, and then we've got the horse grass that's growing, which will, which will give us the hay and the silage that we need. Um, and again, we need some carrots for them. So they're pretty much set up, 8 horses, 50 sheep. So what we'll do now is we'll jump in the Ford and we'll take a drive. Am I going to make it? Yep, yeah, just about. So first we'll head over to the area where I keep all my field work equipment. So, you know, like plows, cultivator, all that kind of stuff. And I've got some big tractors over there. I've got quite a lot of tractors, I'm not going to lie, but like I said, it's an established farm. Traffic is definitely on, so we should see some at some point. So I think I've gone the wrong way around here, but we'll just take a detour, eh? That's where you fill up water if you wanted to for the trailer. So what we'll do is we'll go left here. So, this is the entrance to the farm with all the um, fieldwork equipment. So, I've got a sprayer, I've got the new one in the Cleveland DLC, which is going to be good to use. I love the detail in that DLC, the um, fieldwork equipment actually looks really good. Uh, so, in this shed here, I've got a forage harvester with two different attachments on the front so we've got a pickup um, so if we do some grass silage we can obviously tet it to, and then we can windrow it we can pick it up and put it in a pit that way I've then got the chopper header so when we're doing maize or whole crop if we want to do it that way like I said we can mow whole crop as well we're going to be doing some of that some of the crop swath uh, make some bales we can even make some maize bales we'll, we'll um, do probably a mixture of both so I've gone with the case 7130 harvester. It's got a nice big header attached to it, so it should mince through the wheat and the oats that we do. A lot of the equipment that you'll notice I've gone with case. Right, so in this shed we've got a bit of equipment. We've got a plow, nice big plow. There's our cultivator again from the new DLC. And then we've gone with this horse planter. So we'll be using that for the maize, planting the maize and that kind of stuff. Nice big equipment. In here I've bought some liquid fertilizer. I've also got some seed pallets. I've got some solid fertilizer. 
I got some lime just in case you wanted to use some. I know there's a lime refill station here, but I thought I'd get some. It kind of like looks pretty good. I've got an IBC of uh, Add Blue, and also this is my setup that I'm probably going to be using first, which is the Cedar. So it's again massive equipment, um, and this is one of the tracks I've got. So I've gone with a Puma. 240. This is going to be the medium tractor, as I'm calling it, like the medium powered one. Um, again, case. So I've put a little fuel tank in here. Um, I did notice on the map, if you look up here, there is an actual gas station symbol behind the one that I've placed. But then when I come over here, there's no actual fill station. So I thought I'd just put one in myself. Definitely need one. So I've put one in there. So in this shed, Got some more equipment so I've got the spreader for solid fertilizer or lime and I've got the bigger tractor so this one's going to be doing like the plowing probably a lot of the field work and I've gone for the Optum 300 so again this one's a big big piece of kit and it's over 300 brake horsepower nice piece of kit I do like the case tractors I'm not gonna lie my favorite tractor is New Holland but I've kind of decided that I'm gonna mix it up a bit I do try and use all the style of tractors um, especially on my Sandy Bay, I kind of went for a mixture. But on this one, it's going to be a majority of case. So I've put this in here. I've placed this myself. There is a silo already on the map to store your grain in. But it's um, a bit of a distance away from the farm itself. This this little area here that I've got. So I decided to put one in. Um, this area pretty much wasn't being used. It was just got a few tracks going into the different areas and the gates. So I thought I'd put a big silo in here, which is what this is. So we're going to store a grain in here. I put this shed in as well. And this is obviously going to have some trailers. So I've got two big trailers for grain or if we want to do some silage, we can use them for them. They're kind of, I mean, they're, they're obviously silage trailers, but we can obviously put grain in as well. You can see the style is a, a silage trailer. Uh, but they do look nice and I thought I'd use them. Uh, great mods. So we're definitely going to be using them for either silage or for grain. And then this is the trailer that I modified to have a 100,000 litre capacity to put on the back of a forage harvester if I want to do it myself. Uh, and then we can obviously use this on the back of the forage harvester when we do maize or whole crop if we want to do it that way. Uh, and if we don't want to do that and we want to set up course plate, we can obviously use one of these. So we kind of got the option of the two. But I always find that if you do maize silage or anything and you get a lot, a lot of maize, fresh maize from it, and you know, a lot of the trailers that only attach on the back are quite small. So you'd be doing about 10 to maybe 20 trips. You know, sometimes it's crazy. So I thought I'll modify one to make it less of a chore um, and we can do it a little bit more quicker. So that's why I use that trailer. So yeah, that's the farm with all the main equipment in, you could say, for the field work. We'll head to the cow farm now. Yes, yeah, so the one thing I really do like about this map is the actual, the roads and the lanes in between the fields. It's quite realistic in England. You do have a lot of lanes going off everywhere and little different sized fields. Um, so, I do like that. And with all the features on the map, we're going to be really busy on this Let's Play. Ah, so this is the entrance to the cow farm that I've gone with. There is two cow farms, so I've decided to use this one. Turn that off actually. There we go. So, in this farm, obviously, it's where the cows are and a lot of equipment for feeding but also grass. So, I've got my balers here. I've gone with class balers. Um, so, we've got a square baler and then obviously the combi baler. I've also got my mower here. So, that's the new one that I've picked from the Cleveland DLC. Um, it's also got the ability to generate a swath of the bat, but with all the tedding we're going to do, so we might not be using it unless we're doing grass silage bales. Uh, I've got my tedder and windrow. So in here I've got the Keenan feed mixer. I actually really like that. 
really like that one by 4D Modding, so I'm definitely using that again. Kind of, I think it's the my favourite feed mixer that's out there right now, so I'm, I'm going to be using that. I've got a straw blower up here, but I've realised that I'm probably not going to give the cow straw. I'm going to just give um, straw to the sheep and to the, uh, the horses. I think we're going to get slurry from here, and then we'll get manure from the horses and the sheep. So I'm probably going to move that at some point. So there's a lot of equipment that we're going to be using. I've gone with a JCB telehandler, so that I'll be using the bucket for the feed mixing. Um, so that'll come in handy. Round here, we're probably going to put the manure if there was going to be any manure from the cows, but because we're not probably going to have any manure, I'm going to store some grass silage bales here. I think it'd be good for a bale, a bale pad, so we'll be using that as a bale pad. So in this little shed, I've got me round bale trailer that's an all load, and I've got two more case tractors. So I've got the international with the front loader. So that'll be doing a lot of uh, moving around the bales or anything like that. I've got a few attachments for it. 3,000 litre bucket, bale grab. And I've also got this uh, attachment. So if we want to pick up more than one bale, we can pick up three with that. So that'll come in handy like the rest. So we've definitely got a front loader attachments pretty much in every farm that's going to need it for the animals. Uh, so I kind of I figured out the equipment. It took me a while, but I wanted to make sure I got it right. And then we've got the Maxim. So this is the 145, but it's boosted to 175, so that'll come in handy. That'll do a lot of the lugging around the farm on, on this cow farm. Right, so then we move over to pretty much this is where the pits are. So we're going to be having maize and whole crop in here because I think it'd be ideal to have it over here. Um, with us doing the mixing, the feed mixing over here for TMR, it'll come in handy here. Uh, we might have the grass silage in bale format on the pad. We've also got two more pits uh, that we can use as well, so if we need to do grass silage in a pit, we can do that as well. All I've got in here is just um, bale netting and bale wrap, so. In there, I haven't got anything, don't know what we're going to put in there yet, so there's, a, there's quite a lot of storage area. Slurry tanker, so I've gone with the high spec. I've already got it set up with the uh, connections and everything. Obviously, there's no slurry, so but we've got that all in place. And this is where the cows are. So again, I've given one bale of grass silage. We've got water. Pretty basic, though, at the moment. They haven't got much. So we've got 50 cows, 50 Holstein. So we'll be doing milk in this one. I might at some point buy the other cow farm and we'll do some meat breed and um, we'll get a meat herd. I think that'd be a good idea. I love the fact that this train goes by here. In the intro when I was making that, I was trying to get the perfect time when the train went by. Uh, and I think it looks really good. So the only thing we still need is some kind of milk tanker to transport the milk. There isn't actually a dairy on this map. Uh, it's the one thing it's lacking. So I'm going to probably place into the map um, a dairy. There is an actual area that you can buy here. That's like a flat piece of land. I might buy that and put a dairy in there. So we've actually got somewhere to go and sell the milk. Right, so what we'll do now is we'll go have a quick look at the shop. There is another little farm over here that I haven't got, which has got where the chickens are. There's obviously another one as well for the pigs, which is just down there as well. So. We might expand to doing pigs because I want to obviously do some CCM at some point. I think we'll just start off with the three and then maybe expand to that. So this is the dealership. This is the, like a John Deere authorised dealer. And as you can see, in here it's really cool. They've got all the partners of the farming agency programme. So. Function David, Virtual Farmer, 
That's the farming agency symbol. Lancy Boy, the map maker. Steve Mods. Loads of them. FS Club. And obviously Dagoin. Which I thought was pretty cool. She like the detail in here. It's nice. What I have noticed as well, there is no workshop on the farm, so if you need to come and do anything to the vehicles, um, you bring them here, or you can obviously put in your own workshop. But I think I'll keep it like that, because if it's a bit more realistic in the sense that, you know, if you've got an issue with the tractor, or you want a paint job, or you need to change the tyres, you take it to the dealership. Obviously, they do the work for you most of the time. Ah, so that's our field there, that's the horse grass field. We're just nearly back to the main farm. I'm calling it. Even though technically we haven't got a main farm, there's three farms, but not one stands out as the main. Uh, I'd say this is more of a main farm because our home's here. So you might you might see it like that. Whoa. Didn't want to turn then. It is a bit of a big truck for this map, but we'll see how we get on with it. Right, so that's where I'm going to end my first video. Just a quick tour, talking you through the equipment that I've got um, and how I'm going to play this uh, Let's Play. So in the next one, we'll be definitely doing some field work. We're probably in the next episode going to spread lime and then we'll obviously plant the pasture grass. So yeah, a lot of field work to do. Um, a really exciting map with all the new features with the Maze Plus and the horse extension. Uh, it's definitely made this map shine um, and it's going to be really interesting to see what we get up to so thanks for watching hopefully you enjoyed it if you did give it a thumbs up i appreciate that every time and also subscribe to my youtube channel for more videos on farming simulator see ya